Hi everybody, Dr. Brian Dixon here, and today I want to talk to you about Axio. Well, what is Axio? Simply put, I like to think of Axio as being a nootropic. You might be asking yourselves, well that's a big word, Brian. What is a nootropic? Simply put, a nootropic is something that supports cognitive function. Sounds great, doesn't it? Well, that's the science that's gone into Axio. Axio has been formulated to support all aspects of cognitive function. So let's walk through the ingredients and exactly how they're working to help support that cognitive function. I like to lump the ingredients into three general categories. One is nutritional support. Two are these compounds that are actually binding to receptors on neurons to help support their function. And then lastly is antioxidant protection. So let's break these down one by one, starting with nutritional support. So what is the nutritional support that's found in Axio? We have B vitamins and magnesium. Both of these ingredients have been shown to help support cellular energy production, especially in the brain, but then also help with how the nerves are actually communicating with each other, what we call the nerve conductivity. Second, we talk about these compounds that specifically bind to neurons in the brain and in other neurons in our body. These compounds are helping these neurons work at their maximum capability. And some of them you might be familiar with and others not so much. So let's break these down one by one. I think we've all heard of caffeine. Caffeine is an amazing compound with massive effects throughout our body. I think those of us that have ever consumed caffeine in our lives, we, we kind of feel awake and lively. When we drink caffeine, we really kind of come to life and we feel ready to tackle the world. Then we've got another compound in Axio called DMAE. And this is designed to help support that healthy nerve function again. But again, by binding to specific receptors that are gonna help that nerve conductivity work. And then the last compound I want to talk about is L-theanine. L-theanine works by complementing caffeine and DMAE, but it doesn't have that stimulatory effect that, let's say, caffeine might have. So while it's still working to support that neuronal conductivity, or that neuronal function, it's, it's going to have also a bit of a calming effect. So it's really going to help with that mental clarity, um, that focus that we need to tackle whatever task we might have at hand. And then the last category, the antioxidants. Because the brain is consuming so much energy, we have to make sure that we're supporting our antioxidant protection. So how are these working? So the compounds that are in Axio, the green tea, the quercetin, and the pine bark, they're working as both direct antioxidants, so that means they can go out and suck up all these free radicals and oxidants, but they're also working as indirect antioxidants. For example, these can go in and turn on the protein or the pathway NRF2. NRF2 then goes into the nucleus and flips the switches on a number of both antioxidant and detoxification genes to help support overall brain health. So I hope that helps you all understand just a little bit better all the science that's gone into Axio and the benefits that you can expect to have when you take it.